Hello guys, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depend on your own location. Niger Watch is back again. Yes, uh, it's our first time of doing this on Wednesday. Normally, you guys know that um, our life in abroad is always on Friday with my sister, our blessing. So today we've started doing it Wednesdays and Friday. Please share this video right now because we have a very pathetic story that we're going to talk about today. Share the video. If you're hearing me, please just give me hi and so they can know that I'm not, I'm not talking to myself. Anybody there? Hello, hello, hello. Please share, 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 share. Um, we have a very, very important show today that we're going to talk about. We want everyone to deliberate on it together. Uh, we're going to leave a phone number here where people can call in so that we can actually do this together. Yes, it's a very pathetic story. Um, to be honest, I've, me myself, when I received this story, I was I was shocked. Yes, I was very very shocked, and um, I just want you guys to you know come in, come in, come in. Hello, guys. Uh, we're starting this show in the next um, three minutes. If you are there, please join us and let's do this together. You know, as you can see on the screen um yes hello is anyone there if you're there join us let's do this together i understand that you guys are not used to this uh wednesday show but we are going to be doing it twice a week right now um as you know that most of you um voted for it you know we deliberated together and uh we agree you know on the highest vote that we should be doing it twice a week so let's see how it goes even i agreed on this twice a week because we have so much stories people are not packing more stories here now and i'm wondering how we are going to meet up with time because as i'm talking to you right now we have eight stories pending so how we are going to meet up with all of them because a lot of people are going to wait for so long before their story is going to be analyzed on our channel so um yes i can see our sister uh blessing i was on the back screen i'm gonna bring her in soon you know in the next two minutes you're gonna see how for some of you that be asking where's blessing where's blessing you know uh when i go see him today mona no worry you know so yes we have a guest as well today that is going to be joining us on this show so um so that we can analyze it together because the show is um, kind of very very pathetic so we are going to talk this together meanwhile before that i'm going to bring blessing in now in the next uh 10 seconds um so please share this video just say hi if you can hear me say hi uh give me thumbs up if you, if you can hear me so that i can know that i'm not talking to myself you know so that we can kick start this program you know hello is anyone there is anybody watching me is anybody there uh everybody wake up i know you guys are preparing cooking christmas rice killing chicken and goat and all that okay the key goat for our brother i think you can also uh, you can also keep good <laughs> goods in the uh, in europe depends you know, okay, mommy diaspora, thank you very much. At least you're giving me a self-confidence right now that I'm not talking to myself. Yes, I'm going to bring Blessing in now so that we can start this. Our guest is going to join us soon. So Blessing is coming in three, two, one, go. Hello, Blessing. I hope yeah, we are not going to have issue with Blessing today. Uh, blessing, are you there? Tim Blessing is uh, freezing again. Um, yes, uh, the both me. Thank you very much. Good evening. Yes, we have a very pathetic story today that we are going to analyze together. You know, uh, please, guys, join us and let's do this together. You know, yes, we are going to be honest, you know, until we, until we started this show, I never knew that a lot of people have a story that they've been keeping within themselves. You know, we all of us they pass through one or two things. That's one thing about life. We they pass through one or two things, but another thing is that we don't know who to trust to talk to. Because the people where you go tell your story, they want to use it to 
to mock you and all that. So because of that, a lot of people are keeping the stories to themselves. Everybody have a story to talk about. You know, one thing that we must know, you can't keep a story to yourself forever. You know, uh, speak out. There's something you don't know that the next person know. You know, that's what I just think life is all about. <clears throat> for me though, I believe so much on review. Um, when people criticize me, for example, I look at it sometimes, I turn into positivism rather than just going in my in my bedroom and start being upset. Oh, why that person could talk to me like that? No, you shouldn't be like that. Use some negativism into and, and transform it into uh, positivism. That's how life's supposed to be. You know, um, everybody cannot like you, but just talk about what you're passing through so that um, others can learn. That's that's what I think. And if you see the way we are doing it right now, I can see that not everybody that have the confidence, you know, to just come out and talk about a story, especially when we have a very pathetic stories, you know, that we have been bringing out. So I don't blame them if they don't want to bring their face out. Like this one that we're going to talk, to, talk about today, even though she wanted to, to bring her face out, I'm going to dispute it. I said, no, don't bother because I don't want people to see her face because she has some stigmatization uh, on this particular story. You know, one or two persons might end up using it against her, which is not gonna be a good thing. So yes, this is a very pathetic story. Uh, we are kickstarting very soon. So um, please just share. Hello, Harry Gold, how are you doing? Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. I can see these are my family. Uh, I see mom in the diaspora there. They both me. You are there. Harry Gold, you are there. Thank you very much. And um, yes, let's bring um, um, our blessing in. Three, two, one, go. You'll see her right now. Well, bless you. I'm doing great. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. Yes, a lot of people have been asking, where is blessing? What have you done with this? Blessing. Trust me, my people want to see her. I don't tell you people how. My technology <laughs> is right here in the earth today. Uh, you guys should not be upset at all, my bad. All right. So uh, we have a guest today. Um, so we are going to bring in in the next um, 30 seconds, and we can see her right now behind the scene. You know, in the next 30 seconds, I'm going to bring our guest in so that we can analyze this situation together. You know, um, I can see someone saying, Welcome, blessing here. Yes, blessing is here with us, life and direct. I don't know why. You guys don't miss me. You ain't don't miss me. Bless you. What's going on here? <laughs> eh? I know they uh, like this. Uh, somebody is jealous. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we are going to bring our mommy in very soon so that we can analyze it together. It's a very pathetic story. For me, why? We have um, uh, 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 10 seconds to bring our guest in. Uh, three, two, one, and go. Hello, uh, Christy, ma. Good evening. How Hi. are you, everybody? I'm very fine, man. Uh, how are you? How are you doing, mommy? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm very, very good. I'm good. Thank you for joining this uh, this show today. Uh, I was a very short notice to invite you and you responded to that. I want to say that we are very, very grateful for this because we saw that this story, uh, you've seen it, is very, very pathetic. I think it's, I, to be honest, I think this story is more than me. I'm very happy to have a super woman here today. Uh, blessing, I want you to introduce yourself and uh, say hello to our girls so that we can move on before uh, moving. Mommy, good evening, good evening. Welcome to our program. Tell us your story. We are excited to have you here. Thank you very much. My name is Abu Blessing. Okay. I'm broadcasting yeah. live from the new city. Mm -hmm. I'll be hearing that name. How are you doing? I'm fine, <laughs> Right. Uh, this is our mommy broadcasting live from America. You know, mommy, I wanted to give us a short 
just want to buy yourself so that uh, fans here, yeah, some of them that have known, uh, that does, that are not familiar with you, can know who you are. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. This is uh, a do big mama. I live in New York, United States, and uh, I have my people. I love to be with. I'm happy to be with you guys today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mommy, for joining us once again. We appreciate this. Obviously, we are going to hold you so tight for a situation that is so much in, that is too much for us to handle, especially for me. A blessing. We are going to mm -hmm. say, okay, let's go for mommy. We need mommy here to come and help us analyze this. No so, problem, anytime. Thank you, mommy. So now, um, my people, yes, please share this video so that others can know we are here. You know, uh, we have a very pathetic stories, like I said before. I'm going to put this story here. I'll read it once again before we kick start on the story. Just one moment. Let me bring it here on the screen. Um, I'm just wondering if people can see clear because, um, I don't know. Can you guys see this? Let me see. Bless you. Can you read it? Okay. Let me see. All right. Okay. I think it should be fine now. Okay, um, guys, um, we have a story here that we are going to read for you. Please just share share this and uh, so that we can take it from here. We have um, one of our supporters here, you know. Um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, our name appeared. We don't supposed to do this. Blessing, you didn't tell me this. Okay, all right, nobody knows her. I forgot to edit that out. Oh my God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Okay then. Um, let's just move on. I don't know. Um, okay. Because it was wrong, I will just do everything. All right. Let's begin it from here. Uh, how do I tell my husband, my, my son, about my son? Hi, Najawa. My name is Arau Yuwa from Obuse. I live in Tibok. Uh, Netherlands, my story is very pathetic, or rather, say, very serious. I just need a bit of public advice on what to do. I married my husband years ago, to be precise, 2012. We married in Europe, but I don't want to give many details. I'm not sure who is watching your program. I only came across your channel this December. I've been looking for good talk to so I hope you can get me. Hold on, guys. Uh, let me just um, do this. Okay, let me go on. Okay. Uh, I've been looking for who to talk to. I thought you can help. I was, uh, okay. Uh, as you guys can see there, I don't want to mention that thing. I was, um, I don't know the word to use for this now because it's on, it's on YouTube. Okay. Okay, I, I, uh, I'm right back into our house. They slept with me. Let me put it like that. But you can read it. If you can read it there, that's fine. You know, so uh, that was in 2004 uh, in Ogun State. So they sleep with me in the presence of my mother. And they also uh, slept with my mother in my two eyes. Wow. Um, ever since, life has not been the same Again, I was traumatized and memories refused to leave me alone. My father died years ago. My my mother has been one looking, be the one looking after me and my little sister. Uh, as a result of the, uh, you know, say they sleep with me. So I got pregnant. I tried everything possible to remove uh, the pregnancy, but I didn't, but it didn't work. So I have, I have to give birth to my son in 2005. So I'm, um, I and my mother have been working hard together to put food in the table. I was working in a petrol station that 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 I will not like to mention. Okay, that I will not like, like to mention the name. That is where I met someone uh, who helped me to abroad with a compensation door, but I don't want to go there. Okay. Um, 
Hold on, guys. Um, let me expand this as well. It's not just easy like that for me to just continue reading because there's a way I need to zoom it in. Okay, and um, I traveled to Netherlands in 2009, uh, 2009 when my son was about four years old. So I have been here all this while. I, have, I haven't visited Nigeria to date, you know. So uh, due to some circumstances, I met my husband in 2012. And we got married seven months after our relationship. My concern here is that I didn't tell my husband that I have a son that is almost 16 years of age. My reasons are that I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of how I got my son. I love my son, don't get me wrong, but I'm ashamed to say to my husband, now, you know, uh, now we have two children together, uh, sorry, guys, that I'm, I'm beeping because doing it from here is kind of somehow, you know, now that we have two children together and we have two sons, we makes it three sons that I have right now, okay? But I think my children here deserve to know that they have an elder brother in Nigeria and my husband also deserves to know too. How do I live this? How do I live with these secrets forever? My mother told me not to tell my husband you know, when we were planning to get married up till now, she insists I shouldn't tell him because the story might destroy my marriage. Okay, please read with me in case I'm not putting it right properly. You know, should I tell my husband, if I do, will it destroy my marriage? My husband gave me the light in my life today in Europe. Almost everything I own today he provided all for me. So I don't want to give many details over that, uh, but, you know, but I, and I will forever be grateful to him. But how do I go from here, Mr. Najah Wash? Please help me to ask your wonderful audience what to do about this. I have watched some of your videos and I decided I could get help from your channel. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let me go back to the studio. Hello, guys. Um, if you if you were following up with this, you know, um, hello, Jessica Odubo. Thank you very much for coming in. Jenny Obaseki, thank you for coming here. And uh, the boy, you said this is a very simple and all that. So, um, yes, let's see how we can analyze this because for me, I think it's a very sad story. Uh, meanwhile, before we go there, we are going to ask uh, Edo Big Mama what she thinks about this. Hello, uh, Mommy, are you there? Yes. All yes. right. Okay. Mommy, I think you must have seen this story. And, uh, you know, what do you think about this? Uh, it's, a, it's a very sad story. And... Um, what happened to her, it wasn't a myth. It's not what the, the girl really wants, but it happened because it's not yeah. what it really cost for herself. It just yeah. questioned that uh, things do happen because we have a lot of bad people out there. And that day was not really a day. So, and with his mother, it's a sad story because it's difficult. We all, we have kids and we have uh, uh, our kids look onto us. But uh, that very day for a, a child to see uh, a mother when somebody is sleeping with her or when the same person sleep with a, a mother and a daughter, yeah. it's a sad story. And when I saw the story, I was so sad that Things happened. Everything really happened. But for this guy, it shouldn't feel so bad because end of the day, God gave her a, a, a happy life after yeah. all those things have been done. But what I think he have to do this time is that uh, uh, the mother was the kind of I don't want the husband when the husband will hear this story, he shouldn't feel bad about his mother, because the mother was trying to protect her 
and he know that he have got a real husband to herself. But uh, for having that child, that child, I can say, the husband that married to this lady. Are you there? Okay. Um, Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. So the husband shouldn't feel bad about if he hear about this story, he shouldn't feel bad about it because um, that child is a good child. If it is a bad child, it should have been aborted during the time this girl wanted to abort that child. But as far as it's not aborted, it's a good child. And the child, too, is not the making of this incident at all. Both the girl, the mother, the child, every one of them have different pain in them. So what we, uh, the way I think here is that yeah. these girls, we shouldn't look at the past. What oh, it's supposed to tell the man before they get married. I know some people will think that way and say, why he didn't tell the husband before they get married? Is it this time he's saying I am my husband love me or whatever, whatever. You know, every one of us when we were growing up or even the young one now, when you friending a man, you will not know if that man will get married to you. You won't know. You will most women who we keep their secret to their self. Yeah. And this guy, uh, maybe during the time he's friending this boy, he was ready to tell this boy everything. But the mother, because the mother is protecting her and he listening to his mother, that's why he didn't do it. And it happened, maybe the girl was feeling that this boy will marry me. But when the marriage comes, it will be difficult now. I said, I didn't say it from the beginning. How am I going to say it this time? So that make everything become so long to this extent that they have two kids already. So it's not still late. I think this husband is a, a husband that God has sent into this guest's life. That when a man comes into your life as a husband, whatever that is your pain or your, your, your happiness become that man's own. I think God know already that this husband will carry this pain with this girl, solve any problem that comes in in this girl's life. So for me, I feel that this girl is supposed to tell the husband from the beginning. Is, yes, what is going on in her life? That uh, this is what happened because it wasn't a homemade. This is not a woman who went out there. Uh, sleep with different men and have a child. It was just in his own house and problem comes in. And I can't call it problem because there is a child that in, involved here. I think this husband have to take the responsibility of that child as a father. He have to take that responsibility to be the father of that child. Because this very child now, when he get to some age, he's 16 years now, when he get to some age, maybe they have not told the child that, oh, this was the incident that happened for me to have you as a child. They have not told that child. Or maybe the child is thinking the girl mother is this, the mother is the same mother with, with him, not knowing that this girl is the one who have him as a child, he's thinking he's his own sister. Nobody knows that. But mm -hmm. time we got this child, we asked his mother and said, mom, where is my father? Is the way the husband is in a, in a tight corner. That is the way this child is in a tight mm -hmm. corner. For this mother, I have not told this child who the father is. He have not told this child the story of his life. Yes. So definitely time will come, the boy will ask questions. And the husband will ask questions. 
because the time the husband will hear some will hear, that is where the marriage will be really bad. The situation was really bad. So for me, I feel if I were in this girl show right now, I have to re review the secret for my husband because anybody who hear this will know it's not her fault. And even tell the child that this is what happened when I have you. But we thank God today you have a father. And this man supposed to stand for this child as a father. So um, thank you very much, uh, man. Uh, but what we want to know is that how do you want us to break this news to our husband? Uh, you know, you just want to... Okay, before that, let us ask Blessing some questions first. I will get back to you in a minute, madam. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I am, sir. All right. Blessing, what's your contribution towards this situation right now? Well, um, for me, what I have to say is this. Because she was seeking for advice. I would suggest that, like, uh, I would agree with what uh, mommy, Edo mommy said, that we should not talk about the past. It has already happened, so we should not do any blame game. But now we are in the present and we are approaching the future. Yeah. It would not be nice that she leaves this world or her husband leaves this world without knowing the truth. So she should look for a way, some more courage, sit the husband down and explain things to him. Yes, he's going to be mad, he's going to be very upset. But like what mommy earlier said, that the man should forgive her. The man should not get angry with her or should not blame her. She just forgive her the moment after telling him the whole ordeal. After all, it wasn't her fault, you know. It's actually a sad situation. And um, it became a blessing because a child coming out of it is a blessing. And for you to have a child of 16 years, you've been married to your husband since eight years. 2012, that's quite a long time, you know, so it's advisable that she lets him know what's going on. That's all I have to say. Okay, all right. Um, what you are um, saying is quite similar. But my question here is what happens to if, for example, my husband has to end the marriage because of this? What, what do you think about that lesson? Um, living your truth. Because already, that marriage is already a lie. The foundation has already been built on lies. So um, I pray and I hope it doesn't happen the way you've asked. You know, so, but if it happens that way, the fact that she said that truth should be the peace that she will live rest of her life. Do you know what it is that I don't see uh, the, the, the some siblings, they don't communicate. They probably are not even aware that they have other siblings. Do you know the kind okay. of lonely life the boy has been living in Nigeria here? Without his own siblings in his life, his mother in his life, and his stepfather in his life. So the boy's happiness and future is worth any other thing in this world to me. So I don't think the man would want to just divorce her for that single reason. But if it happens with time, I believe he will reconsider. To me, oh, yeah. All right. that's uh, what I think. Yeah, thank you, Blessing. Let's go back to mommy again. Um, hello, mommy. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I had one blessing just said. Okay. Uh, are you hearing yes, me? Yes, very clear. Okay. Um, what uh, blessing just said that the marriage was built on top of lie. Um, I don't think this girl wanted to lie. You don't want her to lie. You know, sometime, well, with the story of this girl, is. A person who come from a really low background yeah. life, you understand. I don't want to use the word of poverty. So when the mother see that, oh my God, my daughter, I find somebody, and 
this boy must be a nice person, the husband. So the mother was afraid for this girl not to lose the husband. husband yeah. Now, sometime in life, the area we think we protect our children or we protect our husband or protect ourselves, it can hurt us sometimes if we does not really think before we do. So this guy uh, is another person who listened to his mother and the mother did not do something wrong because the mother feels that, oh, happiness has come to their life after maybe this woman is the one who was taking care of this guy and the sister after the husband died and with the, the stepchild. So finding a, a happiness into their life and this guy can be the breadwinner in, in their own home. Now, he's trying to protect this guy, but the protection has become so sad because some people who does not look at it very well or look at it in a different angle. We say, oh, the mother is a bad woman. The mother is not a bad woman. He was trying to protest some, some few things. I don't want my daughter to lose this guy. Oh, I don't want her to lose the husband. That's why all those things was being said. But now, what Blessing just said, yes, the girl have to let it out this time. Because well, me, are you saying are you saying that the mom has been so selfish uh, by telling her daughter not to tell her husband just for her not to lose the benefit that she's receiving from her in abroad? Yeah, I can't call it selfishness. I'm just saying, let me tell you, if we 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 have to put ourselves in this room. If I come from a poor home, which of everyone I, I can say myself because my father died when I was in primary two. So I can count myself somebody who come from a very poor home. Never mind I'm from a good family that then had of in Benin. But from my own father's house, he died when I was in primary two. Yeah. So something like that, my mother was the one who took care of us. And he did not marry again because he don't want us to suffer in any man's house. But something I can think that was the situation of this guy. But when this guy called his mother and tell his mother, oh, mom, I find a guy and this guy loved me so much and he wants to marry me. This is what he's doing for me. And it's like, oh, the brother I've not really met because this guy now he have uh, another sister. He doesn't have a brother. Uh, the, the mother does not have a son. So mm -hmm. it's everything to me. And the mother, maybe this boy always go to phone and call the gay mother. The way we talk to the mother, the mother feel, oh, I'll find a son in my life. So for this problem they have, for them to tell this boy, and I become, oh, if we say it, we will lose him. You see it? So they wanted a man in their house. They wanted a man in their house. And mm -hmm. they, God have made one to come in. But this very one, now, they did not really take that courage that time and said, this is my story. They did not say it. This girl listening to his mother. For me, I feel this girl should have said this thing to this boy that time. But for this woman say, oh, don't let us lose this one God have chosen for us, then he tell the daughter to keep the secret. And the daughter listen, and this way he dragged them to. So we shouldn't blame anybody here. We just have to pray and let God touch that the husband heart. He had to take courage this time. And I'm pleading behind, you know, we heard for his mother that the husband, anytime you see this video, please, don't use that high to look at your wife, mother. It's just, he it loves you so much. That's why he was trying to protect because they don't want to lose you. And every one of them have pain. I will tell you the mother have pain. This girl have pain. The child that comes in have pain. The husband have his own pain, if he hear this. Mm -hmm. And the children, the two children this girl have, 
the time that we grow up and hear this story, then we still have pain, even though the problem has been solved, but then we still have pain. So the only person who can bring this family together right now and let this family have peace and God should touch his heart is the husband. So this guy have to tell the husband. And I know the God we serve will stand by her. All and right. I wish we can receive a call from, um, from men, you know, because I wanted to know how some men will react to this kind of situation. If you get to know that your wife have a son of 16 years old and all this why she didn't let you know, how would you feel? You know, um, yes, I'm going to ask Blessing now. Blessing, if you were, thank you, Mommy, for that uh, analysis. We're going to come back to you pretty soon. You know, yes, uh, Blessing, if you were to have a brother who comes to you, right, as a personal thing, and say that uh, my wife just revealed to me that she has a 16 years old son, and uh, this is how she got the child through. Uh, arm robbers and all that. How? What kind of advice are you going to give to your brother? Um, I will, to be honest with you, because I'm a realist, I will first not be happy that she did not tell him at the initial time they were getting married. But considering the circumstances that led to the birth of that child, as a woman, and I know the kind of trauma that girls go through when they experience uh, such a deal. I will advise my brother to forgive and show love because things like this can lead to depression. She can become very, very depressed if the husband should react negatively. So if I have a brother who is in this situation, I will tell him to love his wife more than he has ever loved her and accept the boy as his own son to help the wife heal. That would be my advice. Okay. All right. Uh, I can see that a lot of uh, um, you and mommy have a very, very forgiving heart. You know, uh, but we don't know what's going to happen when this man gets to hear the poem. Because, uh, well, because, of, because of the ordeal, that led to the birth of that boy. But if it was just a normal, you know, youthful exuberance that she had a child out of, a child came out of it and she did not tell him, I will, I will advise otherwise. But because that child came as a result of that um, stupid act from the armed robbers, I feel any reasonable person should at least have a soft spot for the woman rather than making her feel depressed. Because you see that thing that happened to her is something that we never leave our memory, no matter how she tried to heal. So and if a child came out of it in the process and um, you end up scolding her, you end up yelling at her, you end up getting mad at her for keeping it a secret, it might lead her to depression. So the best thing to do to help such a person is to forgive. So that's the reason I said I will advise my brother to forgive. All right. Um, right. Thank you very much, Blessing, for your contribution. But if I have to contribute to this uh, situation right here, um, I'm a man. So I'm going to talk, talk in a section of men, you know. Um, I have to be real because I let her know that my channel, we are very, uh, very, very real here, yeah? well, you know. We, we try not to own anything. We say it I read. For me, I feel never to be in that situation for the first place. But I think it will be very, very difficult for me to accept it immediately. I think there will be some damages. Because I think it will be hard for any man to just say, all right, it's okay, it's okay, my wife, no problem, let's move on. I think there will be some, you know, um, I don't know, there'll be some damages. You know, maybe family, you know, the family of the both parties might not come to reconcile them after some months. But for you to just say you be in the same roof with them with your wife and she comes to you and said, Okay, this 
phone. I got a 16 years old son and all this. You just said, oh, why did you tell me? Okay, no problem. I forgive you. Let's move on. I don't know. Um, let me ask mommy. Um, hello, mommy. Are you there? Yes, I'm hearing you. Yes. Because what I'm trying to say here is that um, because in your own perception, you've said that, okay, the, uh, the man should just forgive and move on, which everybody knows that this, what happened right now is not at fault. You know, um, I even let her know that it's not your fault, but I don't know the uh, the public uh, reaction, how it's going to be. You know, but for me, as a man, okay. I don't think it's something that you can digest just like that so easily. I just say, oh, okay, I forgive you, let's move on. It's I think there will be some. Um... Yeah. Uh, what What you just say is you are right. You are right. Everyone. Every. That's why I said mm -hmm. every. Every one of them in this situation, in this uh, discussion, know any of them that is not going to be in pain. The wife, the husband, the children. Uh, the grandmother, all the children involved, every one of them, they will be in pain. It's true that no man that will take it, even with the woman. You can't just come and tell me after many years later, when we get married, we have children, and you have a child for a, from another woman, you will come and tell me and say, oh, do you know I have a 16 years old child somewhere? I will say, what? 16 years old child, when? How did it happen? You understand? You didn't tell me. But um, really, as a man, you will not be happy. You're right with that. But the only way I will beg this husband, Ibaz, you see, anything about family, if you, your wife do anything and said, oh, my family have to hear, my, the wife family have to hear, they have to come together to come and uh, discuss this issue, then that is where you open the door for a lot of things to come into your own marriage, is the fact. Yeah. The only person, if anything happens in your marriage, you can... If it is the one you cannot handle, mm -hmm. sleep over it. Go out there, stay alone, think about it. Come home, sleep over it. If you cannot handle it, the only people I think it can settle marriages, not all the whole family, is solely the boy mother, the gay mother, or the boy father or the gay father. That is only two people in the family who will not let your marriage destroy. It's the fact. Apart from these people, you include your brother, your sister, your everybody into your marriage. You have a problem. Because maybe this wife, some of them does not even like this girl before. You know, sometimes your, your, your sister or your brother, one of them will not like your wife. Maybe so, it happens sometimes. Or your, the girl side, some of them did not like this man. The time you will open the door for them, they are going to make sure they destroy. <laughs> so the only people is father and the mother who will talk to this man and say, my son, Please calm down. Let this marriage work. We know that this girl, hello, are you hearing me? Are you hearing? Hello. Yes, mommy, I can hear you. Um, just hold on one minute. Someone is about to contribute it to this. Hold okay. on. Okay. Yes. Um, go ahead. Where are you calling from? And what's your name, please? Go ahead. My name is Robinson. Okay. And I'm calling from London. All right. Go ahead. Uh, regarding this uh, case, yeah. uh, I do have a very great regard for blessing and mama, but I'm quite disappointed. Okay. I've not showed empathy at all on this matter. Oh, okay. And I will appreciate the question you asked, blessing. If mama, uh, I don't know mama's name, if mama was the biological mother, of this man, mama will break both. 
Okay. 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 You know, it's very diplomatic, it's a very sensitive question and it matters, but this shit is too much. It is too much. Even in our culture and tradition, if this case was uh, a man, let's talk the people around. Mm -hmm. If the man himself, we have some questioning. In fact, like Britain, if the woman, mm -hmm. the woman was sleep outside for at least three months, okay. the man would be sacked immediately. So for the woman side, it's, it's just in African culture, it's unheard of. It is very sardonic, it's very sad. And uh, I appreciate blessing and mama, they are just being advocates for the edit. All right, so but what advice, what advice do you have for this lady now? The lady just have to confess and be ready, ready to move, carry her across. Carry her across for the entire, carry the two children from here and the one in Nigeria. And then let's let there be uh, let the distance. Let she should be expecting the distant relationship for now. Okay. Yes, that's that's my that's my take. Thank you very much. Thank you. We really do appreciate your call today, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for this topic. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, before that, this caller accused mommy and blessing for being kind of bias so i want blessing to answer first before mommy blessing what do you have to say to that caller um i understand the angle he was talking from you know so but you know we we just have to be reasonable and fair sometimes if you if you can recall when i was talking i said the circumstances that led to the child coming into this world should be the base for forgiveness. I'm not saying it's a good thing. You know, who does that? How can you have a child that is 16 years of age and you've not told your partner, your husband? Men are fond of doing this thing. They will have like two wives outside and their main wife at home will not know. Their family members will be aware, but the wife and their kids will not know until they die. So I know how sad such uh, situations could be when the uh, when the wife and the children finds out that they have other siblings and co-wives outside. That's even for a man. And we're in a Nigerian society, in an African society, where marriage is centered about the woman, like the woman must be this, the woman must be that. So I'm not saying that what the woman did is right. It's completely wrong. You don't do that. Even if the mom had told her not to say anything. But you, see, you heard what uh, mommy said, that the mom was trying to protect her daughter. Because the daughter, she probably felt the daughter had found happiness. So nothing should just mm -hmm. spoil this happiness. And yeah. as a woman, I agree. I agree with mommy. As a woman that I am, you know, so basically for that caller, I believe mommy and I, I believe we are on the same page. We are not saying that what the lady did is right. We want her to confess to her husband now and tell him everything that has happened. But what we are saying is the husband should at least forgive her. For me, oh, on the fact that what led to her bringing that child into this world is not something pleasant. All right, thank you very much, blessing. Let's hear from mommy. Um, hello, mommy, are you there? Yes, I'm hearing oh, you guys. You heard what our uh, caller uh, said that you, if it was mm -hmm. to be your son, will you just say, okay, they should move on like that so easily? Okay. Um, my brother, thank you. Uh, it's a good one. This, like as we are saying it now, that is what is going to happen in there. When this girl, we want this girl to say it now. It's even better than saying it, uh, taking it to a, another year. It's true. Uh, if this girl, what well, blessing just said, we are not trying to say the, what this girl did is right. The only way we are feeling for this girl is because the way the incident happened. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's where we are feeling. We know what the man will really face. Is it going to be easy? No. 
But now, this thing have happened this way. We are not saying what the girl did is right. Not saying it for, for, for eight years. It's not right. But we, we are not, we didn't come here to destroy the marriage. We come here to put the marriage right, isn't it? Can yeah. we just say, oh, it's not right, you go. Did you? Did we know what that it man is going to face again it. after this marriage? Yes. We don't know what he's going to face. And this marriage have two kids already, two kids. Yes. So in Bini parable, exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. It's the fact. So, uh, this, it have happened. If it is my brother too, the way blessing, my daughter just said it and said, I won't be happy. I will say, what? This guy keep this secret for years? For eight years? What is wrong with her? I will be mad. But end of the day, what are we going to do here is to bring the marriage together. We cannot let, is it a happiness for a man to have, have uh, children from this woman, children from this woman, children from this woman? It's not happiness, so, because end of the day, that is after this motherhood. Majority of our men in Africa today, they are suffering because of having children here and there. It's the fact. So that's why we are trying to put this marriage together. If we know this guy is going to go through pain. We know that. If we, we sit down here, we are going, we have we know the pain in our hearts because of this incident. But hey, this guy did not have a child for a man it's and keep it secret. It happened. This it's like an, it's an accident. It just happened. So do you think that guy is happy to have a child who does not have a father? We, we left that behind. This boy has no father. He has nobody to call father. Unless if this husband what? has sent this child. That is only what we put smile in this boy's face to know. Uh, come in, um, I have to come in now. Yes, you're right. Um, <clears throat> she shouldn't be happy because, uh, especially when her son doesn't have a father. But I think that is the main reason why she should have tell her husband from the beginning. Early, so that, yes. So that, right. so that the man can fill the vacuum. Yes. The space yes. of a father. You the, know? Mother, the, the mother, I don't want her to use what I'm going to say now. I don't want her to use it. Do you know why I don't want her to use it? The time we will now say the mother was wrong. And if that guy watched this video, is he going to, is, you know, if we leave some men and say, oh, this is my wife's mother, it's not a friend to me. It will lead for both this man not to even close to the, the wife's mother again. Yeah. There is, some, some, there is uh, certain things that will happen. Yeah. We have to do it and let it be banners. We, yeah, we, it's not the way your body scratches. If you scratch it so high, it will pitch. So, even she, did, even that, she, said, she said her mother stayed adamant that she should never tell her husband. Even her husband, her, 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 her mom is not aware that she's seeking for help from us right now. We prefer, so two I will prefer her. She's facing two No, it's not good. How to tell her husband and if she tell her husband, she's also going to face another situation from her mother. Why did you go no. and get her husband? <laughs> no. The only way, the mother have nothing to give to her. That is the fact. This is the man is going to stay with for life. So you have to tell the man this time. The fear I feel the mother has for the marriage not to destroy. But if God, God will stand by her, if the husband were able to take it, and uh, that's if the marriage was for both of them, I think the mother would be happy. She's not the one marrying this guy. The mother is not the one marrying this guy. The mother is supposed to be prayerful this time. Prayerful. 
that. <laughs> All right. That is, um, yeah, it is take it. That is the way I look at it. Not that right. good you shooting. Why will you use that word? Not bad enough to tell us. Okay, thank you, uh, Mommy. We are going to get back to you again. Uh, we want some men, about two more men to call in because if any lady want to call in, you can. But I think this situation is for men because uh, what she wants to know, she wants to uh, she go ahead with her husband or she speak with what her mother said that she should keep the secret forever, you know, uh, because she, she's worried. You know, telling her husband, because she mentioned on the note that her husband has been the source of happiness all this through, you know, in the country where they live, Netherlands, and uh, her husband has done almost everything for her. So she losing this man this time because of her lies or because of the secret she has kept for the past uh, 15 years or so. It's, it's, you, know, you know what she wants. You know, but we have to also look at the other way around. We have to look at it that, um, like our sister Blessing said, this lady never planned to find herself in this situation as well. You know, it, it happens, as you all know, how Nigeria is. You know, these things happen more often. You know, it happened in a, in a different way, but it happened more often. In fact, one thing you must know, uh, I can say 20% or 30% of girls in Nigeria are passing through this thing every day, but the Problem here is that many of them are not buoyant enough to tell the public because uh, they don't get no help for them to tell the public that uh, somebody forcefully, you know, slept with them. They don't get any help. So because of that, for them not to have this um, thing of stigmatization, so they have to keep that thing within themselves forever because they don't want anybody to be using it against them that ah you way social person sleep with and all that. So for me. Uh, I'm not here to blame the woman, but in the other way around, um, she still have some blame because I believe, as mommy said, I support mommy as well, as mommy said that uh, the, the baby doesn't have a father. So I believe this woman should have used this opportunity to capitalize on telling her husband the truth so that that man can stand as a father to her son. Maybe the, 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 the child would have been abroad by now. Let's assume she said the truth from the beginning. I believe the man would have carried the, 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 the boy to Netherlands by now. Mommy, what do you think about that? Yes, uh, I'm uh, going to uh, just uh, say a little story yeah. here. I have a friend which we know in the US, and this lady was in secondary school when he has a baby. There's a girl pregnant, they don't have money to her but So he have that baby. But he made the baby, when he come to U.S. with the guy that he met in Lagos, then, then he have other three children, uh, four of four children, uh, three children after that first baby. So he, he wasn't with the whole, that man. And he get to, before he get to U.S., he met a guy in Lagos. They come to U.S., they become husband and wife. But mm -hmm. he, he let the guy know that the three kids he have, that that is only kid, three kids, he have in his life. But no, no, the first son that make it for, he was telling this guy that it's not his son, it was the last one of his mother. Which, that was the child they have when he was in secondary school. So the husband field is just the, the same mother and the same father with his wife. Not knowing that it was his wife's child. Yeah. They brought this guy to U.S., as because the wife don't have mother again, they brought the child to US. Then, then we are in US. The boy was, you know, the kind of child they train in the suburb area in our country. Mm -hmm. They are so humble. So the boy was so humble, and luckily this boy was the brain. He was in brain and finished his high school, finished his everything, went to college. Finished college, went, he become, not let me take it long, he become a medical doctor. Yeah. So along the line, the, the man went back home and saw a guy in Lagos. This, my friend, have one child for, for him and then live in the same house. 
He went back to Lagos and met Swange. A lot of things went wrong. So my friend with this man, they separated. So my friend did not even think, why will I separate? Because he went out there and spent money, open a uh, uh, store for the girl in Nigeria, rent a house for her or whatever. When he know that he have his own dirty laundry, he did not think about that. So he, my friend was the one who made the marriage. He said, no, I can't take it. He left. It's after when my friend left, the man, you know now, people will now start making noise. Then let the man know that that child was not his brother. He was his first son. Hmm. So when the mother left, this boy was the one who come, you know, in abroad now, the woman claim everything. And the guy is not empty. Luckily, he's working with his, with government. So this guy, when this guy here, and he talked to his mother, why will you do this? So dad, the mother said, oh, just talk to my hand. I, I, I won't listen to you. I'm not going back. So this guy have to come and meet this man. and said, dad, please, whatever my mother did to you, you are still my father. He took this guy, because the only car they have, the mother took it away. This boy made sure that he bought a car for this man. He do everything. This man we are talking, so when this boy even used his own money to pay for down payment and buy house for this man. Okay. So the man we are not telling this boy, it's not when your mother left, I know you wasn't your mother's brother, you were a son. He said, daddy, it's true. But I don't want to offend my mother. That's why I didn't tell you. Today, the boy, the man is enjoying from this boy. And this boy sitting, I have a father. He see, go to this man as a father. So things, it, sometimes things happen for a reason. That's why what this woman did, it's not right. But let this man have, I'm just begging him. Exactly. I know it's going to be hot for him. I'm begging him, let him have a forgiving heart to accept that child and the marriage. Okay. Thank you very much, mommy. Um, like you said, I really appreciate your time with us today. You know, we are going to end this show in the next five minutes. Um, <clears throat> obviously, she's watching because she knew that um, we are talking about our situation today. You know, I already let her know verbally that um, what you did was wrong uh, because no matter what, you should have just let him know. But um, sometimes, like she also stated on the, the letter that she was ashamed to say that this is, the, you know, who, if the husband asked her who is the uh, husband, who, who is the father of the child, you know, she doesn't know what to say. But for me, I just want her to say the truth. Like, a lot of my commenters here, since I've been stating it, just say the truth and say the truth. Yeah, so, he have to say the truth. He have to say the truth. What he will do is just know the day your husband is happy. Let him know that you have something to say. Leave down. Tell him, I'm wrong. First of all, blame yourself. Tell your husband, I'm wrong. But I was trying to... You no know, protect certain things because of the love I have for you. Beg your husband very well because I feel that well, your husband is a man God have made in your life, but you did something so wrong. So talk to him and beg him very well to have a forgiving heart that is, is everything to you, your father, your brother, that you are finding a brother you have not seen in your life on him. So don't say my mother said, let me not say it this time. When are you going to say it? When? When? So is she going to betray? Are you not advising her to uh, disregard her mom's advice or betray her mother, you know, uh, by going to talk to her husband? So uh, what advice do you have for her 
between uh you know about her or between her and her mother well the the all uh, this is not mm -hmm. for me or oh, if i were to be the one it's not betraying it's not betraying his mother every mother with the age i am now do you think i have children that is married i have son i even tell you today that my son the wife have a baby on the eighth of this month so I have children that is married. Do you think I want my children' marriage to go wrong? And no. So if I don't want it to go wrong, I will do anything for the marriage to work. What the mother is supposed to do this time is even though when the daughter tells his husband, he's supposed to come into the marriage and say, my son, because of the love I have, I don't want us to lose you in this family. Because I don't have a son. I see you as my son. The mother is supposed to join the daughter now to beg that man, that husband. Not that. It's not betraying his mother. He's it's trying to build his home. And the, mother has okay. to the, last question is that, the last question here is that do you want her to let a mother know that she wants to tell her husband or she should just go ahead and tell her husband? First, uh, definitely let her tell his mother. And when the mother is still saying, hey, no, hey, no, he will let his mother to know, I'm going to say it. Mommy, if you love me, stand by me this time. Stand by me. And I'm going to say, you stand by me, pray. And oh, I mean, we have a call. We have a call right now. Um, hello, yeah, good evening. Um, where are you calling from and what's your name? Hello, my John. This is Kevin calling from the uh, US, Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, sir, Mr. Kelvin. Please, can you turn down the system over there so that we can hear you, Clara? So, what do you have for us today? Uh, I like the, I like, I love your program so far, so good. Thank you. And you guys have been doing wonderfully well. Thank you very much. Uh, this issue on ground right now is a two-way issue. Yeah. It's a two-way issue. Why did I say that? Because it's either the man adapt to it or the man says no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, one first thing first, the lady knows the kind of man he's married to. She's married to. And if she knows he's a God fearing man, it will be of a of a positive 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 side, side. to her. Yes. She will be glad, yeah. She will be glad to have that kind of man. She won't be scared of telling the man anything. The man who has gladly accept the boy, the child. But if, if he's on the other way around, she should be ready to face the family, not just the man alone. Mm -hmm. She should be ready to face the family. Because the family is definitely going to ask her some questions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that she's going to, she's going to give a rightful answer to. And secondly, another thing I'm still going to say is this. It might be offensive, unf offensive to the lady. We can't really say if, the guy, if that's really the issue that comes up. Because we all are human beings. We can formulate issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. What led to the, to the coming up of that child? We can't really say. Hmm. You understand? Yeah. We all can wake up and say something to, to purify our own side of the story. You're right. You're right. You understand? That's what I'm saying. That's the, that's the issue that I need to that I need to put into this issue. Because it's just a two-way issue. She should be ready to face the man if the man is not a Christian. But if the man is a God-fearing man, she should be happy and be glad. The man will accept her the way it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate your, your call today. Thank you. God bless you. You're right. Uh mommy. Um, our... let, let, let me say something. I really love what this my brother just said. Because oh. really, number one of it is that he have he knows the kind of man he married. Some men their their behavior. If it is not really a godly hearted person, he will not take it. Whatever, even though the old world come to beg, 
he will not take it. But if it is kind of person that really have that soft mind and he love his wife, he will take it. But really, the family will come soon. Mm -hmm. What he will do in that family own is to beg them and really tell the real story. If it is the way he said it now, that is the way it happened. Let her tell them the story. But now, if this lady, what he said now, is not what happened, it will still come up. With the what really happened will come up just to come. So you have to say the truth now. You shouldn't write up story that will benefit you. Because what goes up must definitely come yeah, down. That is the that is the area that none of us uh, saw before, uh, uh, able to visualize. Because our brother just saw it now and said, um, because we were just focusing on what she said, you know. But what our brother said now is that who really knows if that is what happened, you know, uh, the source of the child, if that is the, if if is the truth. So for me, um, I'm not here to judge her. Uh, I want to give room for more people to give us stories. But in the other way around, for any of you that want to pass the story here, always have it in mind that we, we have to open it for the public to say whatever they want to say, because you know that everyone is going to deliberate on your story. That is the reason why you brought it for us. So for me, I take critiques to move on. So I will advise you, lady, uh, I understand you are watching us or any prospective personalities that are going to bring us stories. Know that any critics, criticism that you are receiving from here, don't let it uh, kill your vibes. Just use it as a positive vibes rather than, rather than you saying, oh, if I know, if I not carry and go, then nobody's uh, um, criticizing you here. But if everyone is praising you, I don't think you are going to like it as well. You know, so uh, mommy, I've been saying it. Hi, Riz. Uh, bless you, I've been saying it. Hi, Riz. Our uh, brother just came in and said something that we never saw. No, no, no one thought about it at all. That you know, um, like you said, your story is what we're analyzing. But who knows if other thing really happens? You know, so that area. My own personal advice for you. I'm not saying you have to come and tell me the real, real true story. Or uh, you know, we've talked about it today. But my advice for you is that uh, if you want to talk to your husband, tell him the real story. <clears throat> exactly what happened, how you got your child, you know, uh, who impregnated you or whatever the father say it. Because for me, sometimes the truth is very heavy to say, but I believe it's better. You know, why lies is easy to say. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the end of lies is not always good so that's what i have to say you know thank you very much mommy i think we need to uh end this show right now i really appreciate your time with us today I, thank, you. thank you thank you and i am going to knock on your door again next time when we have <laughs> okay. a like this no problem thanks thank you mommy have a blessed christmas and a prosperous new year I pray 2021 be a better mm -hmm. year for in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Minta. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, my people, that was it. Um, we need to end this right now because as you all can see, uh, we've been here now for one hour, 15 minutes. We just wanted to talk because we have more stories I don't know how we are going to do this. When we started this show, I thought it's going to be uh, just easy to run. But trust me, it's not easy. To be honest, it's not easy. Especially when I have been the one on the front line now to be running this. So uh, people are sending in their stories every time. And when you are not, um, you know, responding to their stories, you're automatically sending them away again. So the way things are going on right now, Ah, trust me, the thing there eh, is not just easy at all. Uh, I think I might find someone that will be doing it because I'm not sure if I can do it. Because twice, we just turn it to twice because the reason why a lot of people did turn up today, <clears throat> we have about 100 uh, uh, people watching us. With The reason why we did have much people today because um, I think 
many people didn't know that we started it on Wednesdays. It's now Wednesdays and Friday so that we can exhaust the stories that we have. You know, because many stories are pending. If, for example, at the moment now we have about seven or eight stories, you know, that means before we can finish that, if we have to be doing it once a week, it's going to be the next seven or eight weeks, right? So if we are doing it twice a week now, that we we, we speed up uh, uh, the whole process. Because some people send this story today, they just want you to talk about on your next show. It doesn't work like that, you know? Um, you must understand that people came in first. You know, if you're the one that brought yours first, of course, we'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, we've been on this process of this lady since last week. You know, she have been sending it, sending all, uh, um, talking to me, passing in on um, our, our stories and all that. So we have to do it first, confess self. So, we, you know, like I said before, please don't be offended when one or two persons criticize you on this show. Remember, they are being themselves, you know, they are just being real. You know, I, I, I'm not sure you want people to be satanic when it comes to advising you. For me, if you want to advise me, tell me the truth about my life. I like it. Don't tell me something that will make me smile, but within your heart, you know you don't mean it. You know, so this is how I want uh, you, lady, to understand, you know, on this show and uh, every one of you prospectively to also understand that, you know, um, anyhow we handle your case here, we are not here to destroy you or to kill your vibes, but we are here to say it how it is. You know, for me, my last advice for you, like I said before, uh, I'm going to advise you that, you know, go ahead and talk to your husband. Don't don't seek advice from your mom no more. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not trying to... Um, bring uh, wahala between you and your husband, you know, be disruption between both of you. I'm not, no, uh, but I think uh, uh, between you and your mother, I mean, you know, uh, but I just think that it's better you talk to your husband directly rather than going to seek more advice from your mom. Remember, your mom have been advising you for the past 16 years you had this son, right? Now, if your mom's advice was good enough, I don't think you're going to find yourself in the side of guilt, right? I think you you are not happy with the state of your situation. So that is the reason why you thought, okay, let me talk to people that you don't know and see their advice, which is fair. It's very good. But my advice to you right now is that if you want to take action, which is the right action, tell your husband the truth. Go ahead without not seeking any permission from your mom. Obviously, 99.9% .9 your mom is going to tell you not to tell your husband like she have always said, right? So don't tell your husband. Like mommy said right now, look for the right time to break this uh, breaking news to your husband. Uh, the best moment of his life, the time you think he's happy or the best time you cook better soup or, or cook better food for him. And he's happy you guys are watching a movie or something like that. Just go on your knee and just say, um, honey, or whatever you call your husband, I I'm sorry, I have something to say. You know, mommy said that you should blame yourself first. In fact, put 90% 90, 90 blames on yourself while you are talking to him so that he doesn't have any space to blame you no more. Right? So for me, I think that's how it works. Okay? Um, the story we had, uh, we, we talked about here last week was also kind of uh, have some similarities. It's just that that one was um, kind of different in terms of that one was a dependent. The reason why we are not going to say you, um, you did this because of what you wanted to benefit from your husband is because you brought yourself uh, here. You know, your husband is not the one that brought you here. So you guys met here in abroad. So that one, I believe you that, yes, this story um, is painful. It's a very, very pathetic one. But I want you to tell your husband, go ahead and let him know. So let me look at the comment section. Um, yes, uh, Mr. Robinson, thank you very much. Your contribution was very, very important for us. Uh, you were being real. Uh, you know, we appreciate that. Yes. Um, 
Okay, yes, she, she's here. Yeah, she know that we are going live. Let me put on the screen so that she can see this. Many times she watched this video, she can see this. You say if the lady is here, this is your advice for her, okay? Uh, the storm that was sent to break you is going to be the storm that God will use to make you. Wow, that is good, divine cross. Thank you very much for that encouragement. Um, yes, we all have done one or two things before uh, in the past that we are not proud of. I've always said that on this show, you know, um, you know, so I just think that it's better she go ahead and let her husband know. Listen, listen, this is hard to say. Um, if your husband decided to say that the marriage is over, okay, believe me, is how the issue got him, right? Let me put it like that. Accept it and move on. But I promise you, within the within a month or two or three, your husband will come back to look for you. Only if you are a good woman, right? Only if you are a good woman. No man wants to lose a good woman because of their past mistakes. I repeat. No good man or a sensible man, a responsible man, man with get sense, wants to lose a good woman because of her past mistakes. So for me, even though the man say, oh, it's over, get out of my house, or it's over, I'm moving out, or whatever, anyhow it happens, trust me, your husband will come back for you again. I don't believe he will let you go just like that. And you, you need to show some remorse when you are letting him know this whole, you know, uh, situation. Let him see the guilt in you. Let him see that you are very, very sorry for keeping it all this while without not letting him, letting him know. So I think um, you should go ahead you know, and let your husband know. And this have to be with immediate velocity. Let it be so quick. Don't, no more delay. Just go ahead and let him know. All right? Let him know because uh, he's your husband. You guys have two children together already. And apart from your husband, we are talking about your husband here, your husband here. What about your kids? How do you feel that your two kids doesn't know their elder brother? It's not right. I think you have cause a lot of damages by keeping it away from them, <clears throat> I believe you should start letting them know now. All right? So my people, yeah, that's our, we, we, uh, we have to contribute to that today. We need to end it today. We don't talk um, how it's supposed to be. Um, we, you know, if you bring your stories, we cannot go and beg for you, except you want us to beg for you. You provide your husband's number. We will do that. You know, uh, when you don't provide the husband number or provide any number relating to the situation, our advice we give here, that's all we can do, right? Sometimes public advice is very important, especially when you go to the right platform, you know, where you know that yeah, everybody are positive because check all the post all the comment here since both the one that criticize you, both the one that is uh, encouraging you, all of them, the one that criticizes you, they use a very constructive criticism on you, which is very, very, very allowed. You know, so, um, yeah, well, you, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the book, me, why do you want to turn it to me now? If it was to be me, uh, like I said before, um, I don't pray to be in that situation, you know, um, but if it was to be me, it would be very difficult to accept. But like I said before, you don't expect me to lose a good woman because of her past mistakes. Okay? So your confession, right, will not determine your current character in the house. For example, if you have a bad character, the man will just see opportunity to run. Say, ah, thank God. I talk him before. Say, this woman not going to kill me. I talk him before. Say, this woman not good, right? So, but if 
you were to be a good woman all these years, you guys have been together, the man will not let you go. Okay, let me put it like this, like ar arresting a criminal, right? Or a suspected criminal. Uh, the police don't get to check your past record. They don't get to see that you've not done anything wrong before. You don't have any police case before. You've not been to prison before, nothing at all. When they are dealing with you, they give you some pardons, right? They say, okay, this person has not done anything bad before. This is the first time. Okay, let's forgive. And uh, if you're supposed to get 10 years imprisonment, sometimes they give you three years. Okay? Okay, but if police to arrest you now, you've just committed a sin today, and you are even saying that it's not your fault, you didn't do it, that's okay, that's fine. And they take you to uh, the, the police station, and they now get to know that you've committed numerous of crimes in the past. How do you want them to judge you? My brother, no, no verse. If not 12 years be that gene, you you'll go that 12 years. If I the people want you, go 13 years. So the same way, you know, my advice, like I said before, if you've been a good woman to your husband, trust me, 100 percent your husband will not want to lose you. But if you've been a bad woman to your husband, hmm then you need God's intervention on that. So for me, anyways, go ahead and talk to your husband. Thank you everybody for joining us today. I appreciate every one of you. Please give me thumbs up for everyone that is still here. Give me thumbs up, thumbs up to this video. Uh, subscribe to Naja Watch if you have not done so. If it's the first time with us today, please just subscribe to our channel. Click the notification button whenever we are live like this, you'll be notified that we are here. You know, and uh, also remember that we have a membership now on our on our channel. Click the membership button there, and you know, be our member. Uh, you know, stands out from 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 the crowd. You know, let us also know that yes, you love us, but you are showing it now to us that yeah, you really care. You know, by clicking on the membership uh, icon on on our on on this Niger Watch page. You know, thank you very much. We appreciate every one of you. We have to go right now. We are ending the show in the next 10 seconds. Thank you. Take care, guys, and God bless you.